Hello there YouTube friends, what we're going to do today is have a look at the Mark V Golf Notorious Wheel Arch Rust Problems. Now this um, wheel arch problem is caused by the uh, mudguard liner, um, uh, the fitting that held the mudguard liner in place, um, causing a water trap right at the top of the wheel arch and Volkswagen had to uh, repair these for nothing uh, under the 12 year perforation warranty um, and if I could have been bothered to take the car down I could have had it done. Anyway, here we are and we're going to have a go at repairing this rust in a DIY way. Right, we've removed the road wheel so now we're going to take off the, um, the liner. So just there's a whole series of these screws which you'll find. We're inside the wheel arch and as you can see this spongy stuff which was meant to stop rattling has actually been the cause of the rust because it contains water. Look. So that's going to go and now we're going to see if we can cut this bit out. Right. What I've done now is formed up some thin sheet metal. This was actually an old baking tray cut up with some tin snips. And the idea is that this will form roughly the right shape for my fiberglass. We'll see in a minute. What I might do is coat it with uh, plastic sheeting, cling film or something so that the fiberglass doesn't actually stick to that metal. Right, here we have some uh, fiberglass, uh, quite a lot of it actually, but uh, we won't be needing that much today. So what I'm going to do is probably try and cut a piece to suit that shape. Right, well this is uh, how it looks at the moment. What I'm going to do now is make up some uh, resin and uh, see if we can paint it on to our wing. Right, I'm just going to knock up some uh, resin now, probably at 3%. Uh, so I've marked my container that line is actually 200 millilitres, centilitres I should say. So we're going to add 200 of this resin and six, uh, six of something, cent six grams, I don't know why they, they, they measure this in grams, doing it in liquid form would be easier. Well guys, you can say what you like, but this is a DIY attempt to fix this swing. Now we're just going to leave this uh, fiberglass to go off uh, and see, we'll see where we are. Right, we're going to have to trim this back a bit. So um, to give us a, a line, we've used the old 
old fashioned device, pencil and a piece of string to give us a rough idea where that line is. And I'm going to try and just cut this back to that arch there. wear these big thick gloves guys because this stuff is sharp as razors and go right into you. Right, I've trimmed that off now using a special tool um, which is actually a hacksaw blade or uh, at least a jigsaw blade in the end of a pair of pliers. Um, what I want to do now is see if I can form a little return like this around the edge of the uh, repair and I'm going to stick that on we'll use a little bit more fiberglass just to top this up and I'm going to spread a bit more fiberglass matting on the inside just to strengthen the whole job up right guys just to show you how it looks on the inside that's the um, fiberglass mat we've removed our metal former and a sheet of plastic. What I'm going to do is strengthen it up a bit by adding a little bit more fiberglass in here and then we will try to form a little return lip on here. Right, I don't know if this would work but I'm thinking I could cut this corner right down to nearly nothing to see if we could get it to form an edge on our fiberglass. Well I've cut that um, bit of plastic into sort of an L shape I suppose and I'm thinking that we can get it to fit under here so that it just forms that uh, it forms at the like the lip here obviously it's the wrong shape so um, I've used the hair dryer thing and managed to bend this little piece of plastic into roughly the shape that we're going to need okay there's our little piece there I'm going to put that in in a moment Yeah, goggles, a mask and a hat. And so I came to see her, to listen for a while. And there she was, this young girl, a stranger to my eyes. Strumming my pain with the fingers. Now, what I'd like to do now is get that in. Right, well, we've had a bit of a go. Um, it looked okay then I decided to be a bit clever and uh, ended up dragging half of it back off again but you know that's what you do when you're on a DIY job um, the um, resin's gone off now so we can't do anything else Right guys, as you can see this is coming up quite nicely using our special tool which is the 
bit of uh, 4x2 which is commonly seen in the hanging videos. A lump of old uh, second hand uh, glass paper P60 and uh, using a longer handle it means you get a straighter edge when you're trying to sculpt this nice flat section here. So that's uh, what we're using and um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to use some filler on here and get this looking really like a nice job. Right, I've sanded this back as much as uh, I, I think is necessary. I'm going to use some of this cheap and cheerful filler, two-part filler. So I'm going to quickly knock up some of that and we're going to fill these, uh, fill these little uneven bits and try to build up something around the arch here. I'm going to use some uh, 180 on this bit. Right, I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but um, I don't want a hard edge on there, so a sponge will kind of help form that shape. Just going to have to build that up a little bit more there, I think. Just filling any of those tiny blemishes. There's a mark here, this is an old dent here, so I'm going to fill that while we're at it. Right, I'm going to call that done. We've um, rubbed it down with the 180, uh, this glass paper I think, and um, this uh, what we used to call wet and dry, this is uh, 40 grit paper. I could go finer and finer and finer. I could also get some finer putty just to fill in these tiny little blemishes which I haven't been able to get out. But I'm going to call that done for this little DIY job. And uh, I'm going to mask, mask up and then um, do a bit of priming. We got some very cheap and cheerful um, primer here, so um, warmed it up a little bit uh, by putting it on the radiator. Uh, if I had a respirator, I'd be wearing it, but I've just got a, a COVID mask.
What we're going to do now is uh, go over this, the whole wing, with uh, 600 grit paper, a little bit of water, and uh, just to smooth it down a bit. Just being careful not to go through on this shoulder because we don't want to penetrate through the uh, primer. We'll go over with a bit of thousand grit paper now just to take out the little lines made by the 800. Right, we're going to use some uh, degreaser on this, uh, diluted, to uh, make sure there's no contamination on here. I'm going to dry that with a piece of nice clean towel. Using this auto paint uh, from Huddersfield, which is the uh, Reflex Silver LA7W, and it looks like a very good uh, match. Don't forget to use a respirator, guys. This comes from Screw Fix, not terribly expensive, but uh, well worth not getting this stuff in your lungs. That's our top coat done. So, what I'm going to do now is give it a very light rub down with some 1500 paper wet. The job's not absolutely perfect, I'll admit that. There's a little bit of um, orange peel, but I've um, knocked that back with 1000 grit and then 1500 grit. I'm going to put on the respirator now and give a few coats of this clear lacquer. This is the cheap stuff, not the 2K. Um, apparently not quite as shiny, but you can buff it up after. Anyway, so on with the respirator first. Right, we're going to call that done now. I think we spent enough time on this. It is not a world-class repair. It's an, a, an amateur hour, a, a driveway body shop repair. Um, we've had a go at fixing the rust on this Volkswagen Golf, the uh, Mark V. Uh, I'm not going to get it as shiny as the original Volkswagen uh, Gloss, not using a rattle can, uh, the cheap version. Uh, if I had a mechanical electrical polisher, we may get it a bit better uh, But we haven't got one of those so We are where we are 
Hope you found this interesting guys and uh, I'll leave a link below to some of the bits and pieces we've used. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be good. And you'll be able to see how we get on in the future. Thanks for watching.